Teaching is one of the most difficult professions to effectively perform even in the best of circumstances. For teachers in urban schools, issues unique to the environment can amplify common teaching challenges while introducing a host of special case scenarios that can impede a successful classroom experience. An urban school is a school located in a city or a large urban setting. Right now you're in Chicago and this is an example of an urban school. We service students in the community who might come from low socioeconomic backgrounds, students and families who are in the process of learning English, diverse learners, which means students who have been diagnosed with a disability, and students with high mobility rates. Urban schools are often made up of students from a variety of backgrounds, which means that they bring different needs, challenges, and strengths. Experts say that schools must make every attempt to address these diverse needs. I actually happen to think that the city is a place of great potential. I mean, there are challenges, especially having to do with resources and uneven resource allocation. And there are many, many challenges in any urban environment. But I think it's really important as educators that we think about children living in cities that are places of great potential and that the neighborhoods that are schools are situated in as places where life and growth um, are coming in and out of the school all the time. In the same way that teaching in urban environments requires the development of a unique set of skills, so does the development of focused training for teachers destined to work in these areas. Teachers need to be able to communicate clearly with the students on the expectations and goals of the classroom and a familiarity with the variety of cultures and lifestyles of the student body can be the difference between successful or ineffective education. Good teaching is good teaching, be in urban classrooms, suburban setting. What teachers need to do, they need to know pedagogy, they need to know methodology so they can motivate and instruct students. They need to meet the challenges of the English language learner, of the student who has special needs. The most important quality is a teacher who makes learning exciting, who can motivate students to do their very best and to succeed. Ultimately, the characteristics to be a good teacher at an urban school are the same as the characteristics to be a good teacher anywhere else, only amplified. Every classroom is filled with complex individual minds that require special attention, patience, understanding, and empathy. The better teachers can be prepared in the education phase for unfamiliar classroom situations, the more likely they will go on to be long-term, flexible, and fulfilled educators. No question that any environment that where there's significant poverty, there's a challenge. Rural areas are just as challenging in many ways as urban areas. But urban areas bring their own challenges. You know, kids are, we're worried about kids getting to school safely. We're worried about them going home safely. When I first started as a teacher educator, our students were more concerned about what happens between nine and three. You, you have to be much more concerned about what happens after three and before nine. A successful urban teacher knows methodology. A successful urban teacher knows how to motivate students. A successful urban teacher relates so very positively to all his or her referent groups, starting with the students, the parents, colleagues, administrators. Understanding the community and the needs of the community and the diverse needs of the learner. DePaul University's College of Education is an institute of higher learning dedicated to preparing educators, counselors, and leaders who are committed to creating equitable, compassionate, intellectually rich, and socially just environments. DePaul University was founded on the basis of you know, the ideas of St. Vincent de Paul. And you know, his major question, which is a question that brings many of us here, is what must be done? And when we're speaking about what must be done, what must be done with those who need it the most. The mission of the College of Education is to prepare confident, competent educators in Chicago. The focus is to prepare an urban educator, someone who has an understanding of children and youth and the community at large, uh, sort of coordinate with cultural institutions and community centers. DePaul University is one of the largest providers of educators to the Chicagoland area, and the most recent statistics show that about 45% of area students are African American, and about 45% are Hispanic. So we have to be sure we're preparing our students to go out and work in multicultural environments, and to create schools where all students come in 
being invited to learn and join an educational process. That they don't come from a deficit, but they are students who may have certain needs and our educators are prepared to work with them. There are a lot of wonderful schools in Chicago and around the nation that are preparing excellent teachers. I think that DePaul University sets itself apart because it, we're really thinking about the whole child and really thinking about what it means to be um, a citizen in the 21st century, what kinds of capacities uh, a human being needs to build a life that they love to live. I think what sets DePaul apart from other schools is our mission of social justice. And while other schools pretend or say that they have a mission of social justice, we do. We really walk the talk. We are part of a group of folks who go out to the schools and try to solve the problems of Chicago. We look at social inequities, we look at the inequities that are in our community, poverty, and we try to figure out a way to help our students manage those really harmful effects on learning so that they become, you know, a functioning individuals in our society, functioning citizens. It makes you feel like you're contributing. It, it makes you feel and it helps you see the change that you see in children year to year or month to month. For more information on how to become an inspiring figure in others' lives, someone who can make a difference, please visit education.depaul.edu today.